Okay folks, welcome to the video where we're going to refurbish this orange enduro bicycle seat. Uh, this came from an orange clockwork which was bought back in the 90s. And as you can see it's becoming rather crackly, it's almost blending in with the concrete there, the <laughs> damage. Um, so there's a small amount of damage here to the edges where the foam's become a little bit deformed. And uh, there's a lot of tearing of the leather. Underneath you can see that the leather's starting to come away and you can see the padding underneath. Um, there aren't any staples on this particular seat, so I don't think we'll need to remove any of those. But um, what I'm essentially going to do is cover this in a new piece of leather. And it was originally leather, uh, this is not uh, um, a man made material. And um, we'll also maybe see if we can find a use for the old leather at some point uh, when we take it off. Okay, so that the next step will now be to start to remove this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to part the, uh, the leather. And you can see there, that's the foam underneath there, uh, from the seat itself. And it appears that this seat has just been evil sticked. Uh, even though this is quite a high quality seat from an orange clockwork, uh, it appears to have just been evil sticked down. And well, that's good because it makes it easier to put the other one back on again. <laughs> So, essentially, I'm just come straight off. There's uh, very little stopping that coming off now. So there's the seat pan. And it's quite a hard pan actually, which uh, is interesting. So now we're going to give this a wash so that it's ready. We'll just give this a quick examine. So here we have the um, the yellow foam which sits underneath and um, it looks as if it's going to be quite easy to part that away. Um, yeah I think that'll come off okay. So this has essentially come more or less come off and um, I haven't really looked at the other end yet, we'll do that next. And this is a shaped piece of foam, so this will need to be used to put the seat back. So there we have it, our shaped piece of foam uh, for the orange clockwork seat. So the next step now is to try to get this onto the clean seat pan and um, try to bolster up some of these areas here and there's damage slightly at the back as well uh, I've got a plan for doing that so that'll be next uh, after we've cleaned the seat pan well here we are <coughs> we've essentially got the seat stripped down and um, it's been cleaned on the back and then a little bit more cleaning just here this is just old glue here and um, what we're going to do next is um, I'm going to paint these so they're nice and black again and then, the first rule of salvage is always use what you've already got. So, this foam is uh, very, very durable, and it was, it was designed to be very, very durable. And so what we're going to do is we're going to reuse it as much as we can. I'm going to glue this back onto here, which originally it wasn't actually glued on. And um, then we're going to cover it in um, very thin upholstery foam just to get rid of some of these unevenness. But when you have stripped the leather away from the seat um, you need to try to get as many of the little scraps of yellow off as possible. I've just got a bit of a pile of these here. Uh, you can see that we came off now. These may look like insignificant bits of junk but in actual fact when you have something like this and you've got pieces here that need to be filled, pieces here that need to be filled, pieces down the side there which need to be filled. They do help immensely, so it's worth making sure you do that. And um, as they say, the first rule of salvage is always use what you've already got, so you try and use all the pieces that you can use. I mean, essentially, the, the pieces that have come off, they're not rotten, they're just 
in need of renovation. <laughs> so what we have here is a Romanian pig. So I purchased this hide for only seven pounds from Romania through a site called Etsy.com. This hide is uh, half mil thick, so it's quite thin, and we're going to use this to try and cover the seat with. I need to just say that uh, much respect to the pig for giving its life, so that we can have a frivolous cycling. But I'm sure the Romanians ate the pig too. I'm sure, it didn't. Uh, go to waste. So that'll be next, we'll uh, cut out a scrap of leather. So essentially when we look at this the Romanian pig is much thinner at this end than it is at the other end. So I'm going to use the thin end. So what I'm going to do is put the, the old seat on there and just make sure I've got enough. So I'm going to probably mark it off about here with a, and then cut it with the scissors. Just to show you this is um, the piece of leather that's now been trimmed away and that's now ready for sticking. Okay so the next stage in our seat video I've essentially gotten this um, as close as possible to where I think it should sit. There's actually underneath this there's a, a, a bowl shaped piece which fits into the seat pan and so I think it's pretty much where I need it to be. And So the idea is going to be to um, to lift this and then Evo stick the back of it and then uh, that, should stick, that should go straight down in exactly the right place. That's the idea anyway. So I'm going to try that next. Okay, now the, the glue that I'm going to use is just standard Evo Stick Impacted Easy. Evo Stick very kindly supplied the a scraper with it, but the scraper's too big for the tin, so <laughs> i actually cut the scraper down a little bit. It actually turns out that this wasn't a particularly good spreader, really. I guess it'll work well enough. Uh, So there we have an Evo stick seat back. That is still very, very wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tape off here and uh, my plan didn't work. So I'm going to put it down. <laughs> I'm going to put it down, let it get a bit scoochy. And I'm going to lift it again and just let some of the, the solvent evaporate. i wait a little while. And you can see it slowly dry and the solvent comes away pretty fast in Evo sticks. So. Now once that's once that goes down, it will be very very hard to lift that off. Now, as I explained earlier, um, these filler pieces. They will make quite a difference to being able to finish the seat off properly. And um, we wait till that to evaporate a little bit. It's already sticking down pretty well. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to put a line of EO stick along the back of here and pull that together. Well, that's going to need, we need to wait for the EO stick to go really, uh, really, really off for 10 minutes before we do that. Okay, so my little plan with the tape didn't work because it broke. <laughs> so now I'm going to cover this in evil stick, see what happens. Okay, so this is my seat now covered in evil stick. We're going to wait just a little bit for it to go slightly tackier and then we'll put the uh, piece on. So we now have our piece firmly attached with the evil stick. To make sure the brake there is smooth. And uh, so that's your seat padding back on. And this is still very good spongy padding, there's nothing wrong with it. So this piece here needs to just get put back. And then we're going to cover it with um, upholstery foam. Right, so in this area here, I'm going to fill it with a small amount of upholstery foam um, just to uh, sort it out. 
Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is, if you see here, I'm going to attempt to put Evo stick in here and bring this together. And I don't know if it will work, but we'll give it a try. Now you can see here, this is almost ready. Uh, it's still pulling a little bit, but you can see there, in a few minutes we'll be able to push that all together and it should stay closed. So we've had some patches, we stuck some patches on here, patch on here. Okay, so the next part of the plan is to take this um, thin upholstery fabric and um, cover the seat with this in order to get rid of some of the um, slightly rougher areas. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and um, put sort of a triangle of glue like that on the top first and then we'll peel it down um, later. So something like that and then, uh, then we'll stick that on and then we'll stick it on at the edges I'm doing this kind of cautiously because um, I've never really done it before so I don't really know what to do it's, it's an interesting experiment <laughs> uh, so he says right so we'll wait for that to go tacky and then we'll apply it. Right, so now the sides. I'll let that go hard. So now we do the other side. Okay, once that's tacked off, uh, we're going to smooth smooth it down. Um, so that it's nice and stuck. I'm going to trim this back piece just just now. Now looking more like a cycle seat. Okay, so I've peeled that back, and I'm now going to put glue on this piece here. Okay, so once that's done, we um, firm it down on the ridge. Uh, right down to the front there, and then we'll do from the sides down. There may be an area around the front which proves to be difficult. 
just from experience. <laughs> Okay, this is a little too accurately on camera, but you can see what I've done there. Yeah. A bit of glue sticking off. Yeah. Right at the back, you can see I've deliberately kept this off here because I don't want the foam to interfere with the grip of the leather on the when it gets curled over. Okay, so that's why I've done that. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the sides and then trim that. Okay, so just incidentally, uh, we have now painted these. These are nice and black. And the next thing we're going to do is um, wait for this glue to dry and then push these on and then trim these up. And then we'll be onto the leather. Okay, so there's the trim seat so ready to go. Um, it's supposed to be trimmed around the edge. So now we need to be at the stage where we can put the leather onto the seat. Okay, so here's both pieces been uh, glued up and ready to go. <laughs> Okay, so there's the cycle seat with um, all the edges have now been glued and um, it's been trimmed up and it's ready now to have the edges pushed over so the eel stick sticks the seat on. And then we're pretty much done, really. So here essentially we have the uh, the finished cycle seat. Which, um, done my damnest to keep the glue off the top of it, which is, seems to have worked okay. It's uh, covered in a Romanian pig. And uh, rub it all around at the edges, and we put a little bit of piping at the back there just to tidy up the back because there's a lot of folds at the back, and, uh, and the front is always a difficult area when you're doing cycle seats. And that's had a piece of leather stick on it just to make sure it doesn't come away. Um, but it is actually uh, a really nice job, and it looks really good. Um, anyway. That's the end of this project. Um, I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, thanks so much for watching and watch out for more videos. Cheers.